Courtney Bruce there out hunting and <laughs> met immediately by Remy Carmo at the other end. Just to settle things, build confidence and then also adjust those combinations as the game goes. But a confident feed there by Kim Pavilion. Suncourt one drops for her. Their centre pass scoring at 88%, which is incredibly high. The Firebirds will be looking to try and impact that in the second. But to now one, I'm very mindful of the score. And she's not letting this living. That $100 for everyone. Here could be another $100. Wallen from middle. Oh my goodness. What an open. Too much for Fowler. Simmons tries to keep it in play, and somehow Fowler finds the scraps and then gives Back her up in that moment. Revellian working with Moore. Lines up, lovely high action. Remy, whereas when they were both on the move, she was completely in the contest. Oh, gee, great vision from Dunkley. Well, that... Wallop steps in off the contact from Bruce. That's what she's good at. Will we see a bit more of that? Does yeah, she no, get hand on ball? Her timing was just off then. I would expect that Baker, Doran and you know have been given the license. All over that. I'm not sure what it was about. In the meantime, Unai comes up with a needed intercept. Dunkley, well, terrific attack there off the centre pass. She's had a week off and she's feeling good, not on that occasion. Oh, and a tip there by Anity Neal, chased up by Verity. But the Firebirds defenders completely switched on in that moment. Yeah, impressed to be honest. I think we've started this game really well. The work rate's been good, that not so much, but... um. No, I think the quality across the board of what we're trying to achieve today has been evident, and uh, we just now need to sustain that across the full... ...against the Firebirds last time. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, great ball speed there by Mia Stower, entering the circle undefended and puts a shot away. Supreme in that circle and to put up and score 60, or as we see Fever lose their centre part. Taking two in a row. Get in and get amongst it and build some confidence here. And Just getting her eye in early, Kim Jen. Stower this time. That's what they need from her. Game if they got to nil to miss two shots. And, and they did, and they did. The Firebirds have got her to miss three, as we see Mia Stower continuing that confidence. That lead the Fever have, and I think the Fever would be content at the moment going blow for blow. There you go, defensive pressure for the Firebirds, a chance. But Verity was happy to throw that in, and Janil held on to it. But we see Mai Mai injected into this game to bring speed. Best game ever. Smashing it right at for me. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the quieter games for Ruby Backward Drawing. We saw her take a couple of flies early in the game, but unfortunately. Circle. Wallen cleverly poised just that one. Uh, no, double play. My, my. Oh, well, that's one of the best passages of play we've seen from the Firebirds. The game, should I say, since the super shot has been introduced. Wallen, off balance, steadies, no pressure. 11 from 16. And take nothing. Oh, so happy to be back after that COVID protocol kept her out. Danelle Wallen knows that she's got to take the weight of the world on her shoulders. And congratulations to her. Three in a row.